Hi, it's Natalie from Costume Crops. And Miranda. And we are making a really quick, fun Halloween project for you today. For um, trick or treating. Yeah, for trick or treating. Um, they're little candy holders and they are cut from the tags, bags, boxes, and more cartridge. It's the little crayon box. Um, mine is a taller version, as you can see. This was the cutout it's right here so um it's seven and three quarters high and this would be for a bigger candy like maybe a tootsie roll or a, this is the, is the perfect size it actually just fits right down in there so and this one is six and a quarter inches right and it would be great for maybe like some smarties or something like that smaller candy but um we had this great idea it was kind of a team collaboration with some others um that work here at custom crops to utilize these fun glow-in-the-dark bracelets that you probably are seeing a lot of right now at your dollar stores for the ho for the holiday the halloween um and you get quite a few in yeah there. you get five in here for one dollar so this project is very very economical um if you've never worked with these little glow bracelets before they come in package like this and when you get them out they're straight like this so you want to make sure that you crack them and get them um, nice and glowing before you before you put, it put in. them in between because once you get them in there there's no turning back and um, you can also shake them and kind of get everything all mixed up in there and then they come with a little fastener and they're just the right size to fit behind your pumpkin. Um, I've already cut out the boxes and Miranda's gonna put hers together, but mine is just the larger version. And then we used one of the Tim Holtz masks on the front here and, and inked around it with some black soot and just attached a little bit more of paper, the Halloween paper. But um, the pumpkin we've cut, you're going to need two different pieces. One is like a pattern or an orange paper and then the underlay is going to be white. And the reason you want it to be white is that when you put your glow in the dark bracelet in between these two layers, it needs to reflect off of the white paper so that it glows. And you'll see it in the dark later, it's super, super cool. So Miranda, why don't you uh, kind of... Well, I want to just note like what I love about the tags bag cartridge is you can see this is the cutout. So it just does this one cutout, so it's very easy. You don't have to put any pieces together. You're just simply folding your pieces together and then gluing them. So mm -hmm. it really is easy. I know some people are a little intimidated by the tags bag cartridge, but it is a very cool cartridge to work very with. Very easy to use. So I'm just gonna use our little glue bladder pro here and put some glue on my edges and so on the tags bags boxes and more cartridge what's nice about that cartridge also is that when it gives you the cutout it makes these little score marks so that when you put it on your score pal you know exactly where you're supposed to like put your your scoring tool in and it makes folding and putting together so so easy Okay, so, so Miranda's put her together. And the other nice thing about the paper we're using, this is Pink Paisley, some Halloween paper, and I think this might be a basic gray one. Yeah, basic gray, the eerie line, um, is that it's double-sided. So when you have Open a project it. like this, it's it's really fun and festive on the inside, too. Yep. So do you want to start and we'll get yeah. our little... Well, this so we each have our pumpkins, and um, I've inked mine around the edge with the... Um, black soot distressed ink but your this comes from the paper dolls cartridge and you're going to cut your pumpkin for these box shapes at six inches height it fits either box actually so that's the nice thing about it and then if you just want to kind of show how put that perma we're just going to put some permatech down here on the base of our pumpkin And then we're just going to put some glue here, same thing on the top layer, so that it sticks to your glue stick. The glue stick, listen to your me. Glow, glow stick. stick. We, knew what you, we knew what you meant. <laughs> I'm so used to using a uh, crafting A glue terms. stick. <laughs> we've got glue sticks on the brain. So there's the little pumpkin assembled. And then you just, Miranda, you're probably going to put some glue on the back of that. Yep. These glue 
glider pros are they so are awesome easy to use well and i was thinking that that would kind of be a challenge to get glue on the back of that mm -hmm. but as you can see it's really easy and they come in um permanent high tack and then isn't there like a repositionable there also? is repositionable. so i don't know if the kids wanted would want to at a later time take this apart and wear the the glow bracelet but you could also make it that way and then these just go your little smarties just go right inside that crayon box so so cute and i've got um mine as well and the tootsie roll in in that box so that's our project for today anything else miranda that you can think that's of? that's it i'm I sure evan would like these. i know i love yeah. this it's just a cute little way just to use some basic paper and very and very some, quick and very yeah. inexpensive so thanks for watching if you'd like to see more projects like this make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel we'd love to hear from you as well if you have any suggestions for projects and we're always listening to you our viewers so thanks for watching happy halloween hey.